Hey there Star Wars collectors, welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and as you can see today I have the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One on the Vintage Collection card. Now as you're probably aware this figure was available in the Black Series 3.75 figures that were available at uh, Walmart exclusives and here in the UK the Asda stores. Uh, they were quite hard to get hold of at the time. Uh, if you're looking for a cheap way of getting this figure and you are in the UK, go down to the entertainer stores. They have a load of the Black Series figures uh, for £5 each, including the Death Trooper. So if you wanted to get a nice army of those, then that's the perfect place. If you prefer the nice vintage cards like this, then obviously you're going to be set back about £15. So before we get into the review of this figure and open them up, I just wanted to ask you to give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really does help the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, then you'll get notifications of my next videos, which I plan to do. Uh, in the future, we're getting some more Black Series figures. I think the Leia one's turning up from uh, Best Bin Escape. We've got L3 from the Solo film, uh, the Patrol Trooper from the Solo film. So loads of videos to get through. Anyway, uh, let's crack this figure open and uh, let's check him out. Okay, so here's a close look of the Imperial Death Trooper holding his blaster rifle there. And as you can see, uh, for a 3.75 inch figure, this figure is highly detailed. They've done an amazing job. Uh, you can never have enough troopers and uh, the Black Death Trooper is an awesome figure to have in an army. We just need a uh, Krennic now in a 3.75 vintage collection to complete the set. That'd be really, really awesome. So let's get a closer look at his head there or his helmet. And as you can see, he's got the green detail on his eyes and his mask and his breathing apparatus there. He's got this like rangefinder thing on his helmet. You can see there the classic sort of arm armor but in it all in black and as I mentioned before this is a repack um, the figure is identical I can't see any differences whatsoever uh, so as I mentioned if you did want a cheaper way of getting him then I would advise uh, getting the black series version obviously if you're a collector of the vintage collection you want him on the card then just get the one So awesome figure, loads and loads of pouches on his belt. He's got his black pauldron, ammo bag, uh, pouches there. And uh, he's just a, an amazing figure. Now he also does come with a sort of pistol blaster. I uh, just need to get his trigger finger in there maybe. Maybe not that hand, maybe this hand. Yeah, that one doesn't really work as well. I think the trigger finger is for the other, other weapon, but still that looks pretty cool. Now all of his um, pouches and armor and webbing if you like is uh, is removable so just before I show you that I'm going to quickly just show you the details of the guns and you can see it's pretty much just uh, one paint job it's all sort of like the gunmetal gray color um, a little bit of detail but not not a great deal I have seen better and then his rifle with the stock on the end there is pretty cool and again one colour with just a tiny red uh, bit of detail there but still pretty good gun this one's a little bit bent but that's okay you can bend it back like that okay so on to the figure as I mentioned before his um, pouches and everything like that are on a little clip there so you can take that one off got a nice silver detailing on the front there 
and all his webbing and pouches, ammo pouches or whatever they are there. Um, this one is clipped around the side, just there. And then obviously if you want to lift it off, then you're going to need to take his head off. So we'll take his head off like that. Sorry about the camera there. And that just lifts off. And then we can put his head back on that ball joint there. And then he looks a bit skinny and naked. But you can really see the detail of his armour. Now in terms of the articulation, the head as you saw is on a ball, so that goes all the way around, left, right, up and down. His arms are on a ball hinge. They spin all the way round. Go to a right angle like that. Uh, he has elbow joints, which also spin. Uh, wrists, his hands spin. And there is a hinge in there as well, as you can see, which is good. He has a torso articulation. Um, not a great deal of movement back and forth, but certainly side to side and twisting like that. He can do plenty of all of that. Uh, legs again on ball hinges, so they spin. Got to completely do the splits like that. Uh, you've got some thigh articulation as well, so to the twist. Uh, his knees twist round and they've got a hinge. His feet twist round and they've got a hinge as well. So all the usual articulation that you will get with a vintage collection or black series 3.75 inch figure. This one's one of my favorites. I would recommend picking him up. Um, probably the third best one in the wave. So I would probably say that the Enfys Nest figure, if you check out my other review for that, I, I, that's my favorite of the wave. Then the tank driver, then this guy, and then the Han Solo figure. This one will probably be further up there if he wasn't already out and was just a repack. But still a very cool figure. Let's give you another look of him there. Okay, they like guys. Let me know what you think of this figure in the comments. Uh, do you plan to army build them? And uh, as I mentioned before, please drop a like on the video. It really helps. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And we shall see you on the next one. See you later, guys.